never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool Today's breakfast smoothie is very uneventful. It's just going to be berries. I picked these up um, at Costco and I really love them because they're just nice little portioned out bags. So I'll do like uh, maybe like three fourths cup berries, a half cup of this Too Good Vanilla Yogurt, which I love you guys. So good, I rave about this stuff all the time. So good, like good specs, low carb. Um, and then a scoop of my protein powder with ice and water. You can do almond milk if you want, but I just prefer mixed with water because I feel like this really creams it up and sweetens it up also. So that's my smoothie. So one thing that I really love about shakes is that they are super easy to grab in the morning. Um, and they're really nice because I'm not really a heavy food eater in the morning. Sometimes I'll have like a really big appetite and I'll want like some eggs and toast and avocado and stuff like that. But most mornings are not like that for me. Like, I think maybe it's the caffeine for my pre-workout or something, or coffee, I'm not sure, but I really don't like eating until like around noon. So, this will hold me over for a little while. Maybe I'll have a snack before then, I don't know, but we'll see. Okay, so I have a super busy day today, so I'm gonna show you guys how to make this Italian slow cooker chicken and I have never tried this before, but I'm super excited to show it here. It is low carb and keto friendly. So all you're gonna need from this is just some chicken thighs, boneless and skinless. You can use uh, chicken breast if you want, but I really like this, um, how chicken thighs are really nice and tender, especially after being in the crock pot. Uh, you're gonna need some tomato paste. I just keep mine in here because I never use a whole can, so I always have some left over. Um, a can of diced tomatoes, and you're gonna wanna drain that a can of cream of mushroom soup and let me just say that there are let's see if this is gonna focus there are eight grams of carbs in one can of this but you're going to separate it into different serving sizes like obviously you're not gonna eat all of that so the carb count per serving once this is all done is pretty low and then you're gonna need some Italian seasoning before this is done you're also going to need eight ounces of cream cheese brought to room temperature so I've just got my crock pot here lined with um, uh, crock pot liner and these things are awesome you guys know I rave about these all the time and I'm just gonna go ahead and dump everything in you are gonna want to drain the juices in here so it's gonna be about a tablespoon of Italian seasoning um, I just kind of eyeball it a can one whole can of this and then one tablespoon of the tomato paste which is about how much I had left and then we're just gonna drain the uh, tomatoes here because there's already a lot of juices and this is gonna create a lot of juice and we don't want it to be super runny. I'm also gonna add in just a few cracks of salt and pepper and some onion powder and some garlic because y'all know I love my stuff seasoned. Just don't go super heavy with it because the cream of mushroom soup is super salty. So if you're somebody who's sensitive to taste, um, just be wary of like your salt content. Sometimes I go a little overboard, um, but I love my food seasoned. <gasps> that is so pretty, Nova. My daughter just drew me this picture, this dot marker cross. I love it, thank you so much. You wanna go do the bunny now, I mean the chicken? Go do the other dot marker. I mean, no. How about we go to walk and Okay, we'll go on a walk when daddy gets here. His mommy's gotta make an important phone call. So just dump the tomatoes in. Um, and then I'm just gonna let this cook on low and do its thing for six hours. It's nine o'clock right now. The lovely husband came home and brought me coffee. 
And for you guys that are new here, if you have never seen my coffee order before, I always get the same thing. It's like an Americano with toddy shots, which are like their cold brew espresso shots. A little bit of heavy whipping cream, sugar-free caramel one pump, and sugar-free vanilla syrup two pumps. And that is my coffee order. So just fried up one of these uh, great value pork sausage patties. I love these so much. Get them at Walmart. That's all it looks like. Super, super good. And then I'm gonna fry up one egg here. Amen. Okay, so I picked these up at Costco and I'm gonna have them as a quick snack. They're pretty tasty. There's one gram of carbs per serving, 13 grams of protein. And a serving size is like, it says 23 wisps, but it's Parmesan cheese, nothing else. And I think they're pretty good. So I'm gonna snack on these while I do some more computer work. And yeah. Okay, so the moon cheese were not it. So I did pick these up too, these Tillamook um, smoked sausages from Costco also. Um, I'm tasting them and they're pretty good. Nine grams of protein there, zero carbs, zero sugar. They're not the most flavorful thing in the world, but with some cheese, pretty good. So I'm gonna snack on two of these. Okay, so this is what we're looking like. I went ahead and pulled the chicken out only because I'm gonna stir in the cream cheese right now and I don't want the chicken to break all apart because it's really soft, but I still like it to have a little a bit of texture. So I'm gonna dump in the cream cheese. Okay, so my cream cheese. Okay, so my cream cheese was not at room temperature, which is what the recipe calls for because I forgot. Uh, so I put mine in the microwave and just melted it and I'm just gonna dump it in and stir this all together. And I'm gonna add a little bit of Parmesan cheese and voila. So my YouTube community did a vote. Like I put a, um, like a poll out on my community tab asking you guys like what content you wanted to see from me because I can literally only focus on one thing like because I'm doing so much right now with my cups and like my YouTube channel and with work and with the kids and everything I just felt like it was too much like trying to do both like cleaning videos which I love because I like cleaning um and like still doing low carb videos but what I eat in a day videos and like healthy eating videos and recipes and stuff like that is still pretty easy for me because I do enjoy cooking. So I'm excited to be bringing more of those kinds of videos. And then also I'm really focusing in on my weight loss journey right now because I'd like to lose another 20 pounds. I the exact number is 18 pounds but we'll see what happens when i actually get there and i'm on like day nine of my 100 day program right now so i'm pretty excited to take you guys along with me and yeah let me know what kind of videos you guys are interested in i was thinking about doing like keto dinners for a week that kind of thing and just seeing what happens but so anyways i stir all of this in let me show you what it looks like it looks like this and i'm just gonna dump my chicken back in while i wait for the sides to finish, I'm just gonna roast some broccoli and then um, these guys are gonna have mashed potatoes with theirs and I'm gonna have some cauliflower rice. And here we have it, you guys. I did not feel like making any cauliflower rice because honestly, it's already 6.15 and I'm tired. Um, but here it is, just got some broccoli and some of the yummy chicken here topped with some mozzarella cheese. And that's dinner. <gasps> Mama, 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 m
and it is dessert time and so I really wanted to show you guys something these are not keto friendly um, but I have eaten so well today and I have not snacked that much and as you guys probably saw I only had two like real meals so I can totally fit this in with my day but I picked these up from Costco you guys when I tell you that these things are heaven in a box it's not even it's not even worth it but I'm gonna do it anyways one piece is 110 calories <laughs> 10 carbs with one gram of fiber so nine net carbs eight grams of sugar and one protein um, I'm gonna do it because I'm I'm still under like I think I'm around 45 grams of carbs right now so I'm still good for myself and I worked out today but I'm gonna have one of these babies because they are delicious they are so good let me show you what they look like hi okay let me know did anybody else's grandma used to give them like sea turtle candies like do you guys remember those sea turtle candies that were like chocolate with like nuts and caramel well that is what these guys are and oh my gosh like i gotta find a big one because it's only worth it if it's a big one but these are so good so they've got macadamia macadamia cocoa butter milk chocolate obviously they are so good. Mm. Honestly, when you do really well like all day long, like I love to have these in my pantry. It's just like a little treat right now. I know that I'll probably get strict soon and cut them out, but y'all, so good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna sit down and enjoy the next bite or two of this and i'm gonna end it so peace beautiful people i'll catch you guys in the next one